A couple weeks ago, the Dallas Cowboys were the toast of the NFL town mm. after pounding the Philadelphia Eagles in a revenge spot. But since then, we have the Buffalo Bills disaster and then a tough loss on Sunday against Miami Dolphins, one of the best teams in the league where they go down and they get what looks like the game winning points and the defense can't hold. They're now 10 and five. And their chance at winning the NFC East is resting on the Eagles going into utter collapse. Landon McCool from Locked On Cowboys joins me now. And Landon, uh, no rest for the weary here. They've got the Detroit Lions coming up on Saturday in the standalone spot. What do you make of why this has been a bit of a roller coaster season for this Dallas team? Well, I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with who they played, you know, I mean, I, I think, look, I mean, if you go into the schedule and we all do this exercise because we all cover, you know, NFL teams, right? We, we the schedule comes out. It's absolutely a ridiculous process, but we start circling, you know, the wins and losses preseason before we even know who these teams are. And if you're going to look at this one, this on the road against the Bills in December, on the road against the, the Dolphins. I mean, these were two that you had circled for potential losses, I think. And I, I think the Bills game is separate to me from this Dolphins loss, right? Mm. You know, the, the Dolphins loss, it's like both of these two teams had more to play for than the Cowboys going in, I think. You know, they, they even with the Dolphins game, win or lose, the Cowboys needed the Eagles to implode a little bit more in order for them to win the NFC East. So I, I think that that's a big part of of, of why uh, uh, there's been a, a little bit of a of a motivation disparity between the, between the teams they play. But also on top of the fact, you know, the Cowboys have struggled on the road. I think that there's, there's no way around that at this point. Uh, but I, you know, I think the Buffalo game to me was a, was a, was a blowout. It was a, t a Buffalo team that absolutely had to win. They came in motivated. They pounded the Cowboys and, and Miami, it was, you know, it more was on script. The, the Cowboys were favored to, you know, I think the, the Dolphins were favored by one point. The Cowboys lost by two on a last minute field goal. Uh, and yeah, absolutely. There's a way to spin it like, yeah, the Cowboys defense couldn't hold at the end, but there's also a way to look at it like, hey, last week the Cowboys couldn't stop anybody from running. And, and this week they did a good job against the run and they limited the most explosive offense to 22 points at home where they're traditionally you know, very good. The other part of this, though, Landon, is um, I don't know if you know this, but in the playoffs, you have to be uh, good teams and the Dallas Cowboys mm. are going to have to go on the road. So. Um, if your best win is against the Eagles and the Eagles don't look like any great shakes so far this season, and you have these issues against these good teams and on the road, that doesn't seem like a great harbinger for, for playoff Christmas's future here for Mike McCarthy and company. No, absolutely not. I mean, like, there's no way around that. The Cowboys <laughs> absolutely have to win games on the road. And especially if, if things don't fall the way, uh, you know, if the Eagles don't collapse uh, uh, down the, the stretch, then they're not going to give you the opportunity to really play a home game. So you, you do have to find a way to win these games on the road. I, I think that the Cowboys, you know, have run into some very difficult teams on the road. Uh, and I think that that's been part of the issue. And I think that, you know, I, I don't think that they're incapable of winning these games. I just think they haven't, you know, that, you know, the ball bounced the wrong way in Miami a couple different times that if they had bounced, you know, if Hunter Lipke handles that handoff at the one yard line, maybe yeah. we're talking about a different situation and suddenly the, the narratives are different, but I think for right now, the, the Cowboys need to win these games that, uh, you know, they, they need to control what they can control. Right. And that's beating Detroit coming up and then hope for the, a little bit of good luck with the Eagles. And then outside of that, they just need to get into the opportunity. They couldn't win a playoff game on the road last, uh, it was two years ago last year. Uh, and then they beat Tom Brady and in, in, in Tampa Bay. And, you know, it's, it, it's every, it feels like every year they're getting a step further than where they couldn't go the previous year. I, I just don't know if that's going to be a fast enough uh, a progression for Cowboys fans when it comes to playoff time. Uh, this weekend to win control the controllables, which is like one of the oldest coaching truisms that there is. Yep. How can they control this game? How do they, how do they find a way? What's the key? Well, they got to get back to, uh, uh, you know, being more efficient across the board on offense. I think that's, that's something that they've had, they had problems with in the Miami game is, you know, they looked really good moving the ball early and late, but there was definitely a period in the middle of that game where they kind of were, you know, gave a couple three and outs and then just really put a lot of pressure on their defense to continually make plays to keep them in that game. Uh, I, I think that that's something that the, that the Cowboys are going to need, need to be better. And I, and I just think that the Cowboys, 
they just need to play like they've played at home. You know, if they could, if they're going to continue to tend the trend of, of not playing well on the road, then at the very least play like you're supposed to play at home against the Detroit lions who, you know, obviously may be the best opponent that you've had to play so far this season at home. So uh, I think the other part about this too, is that this is going to be an emotional game for Cowboys fans simply because of the Jimmy Johnson uh, ring induction, the last regular season uh, uh, home game. Stay up to date all year on the Dallas Cowboys by subscribing to Locked On Sports today and Locked On Cowboys on your favorite podcast app and on YouTube. 